This video is sponsored by Noble Desktop. I want to talk about bullets for a second because people love, they absolutely love to create custom bullets. And when I say custom bullets, I don't mean like a custom font. They like to actually create their own bullet characters. So I've created a couple examples of this in this document right here. So this is an example where the client wanted a custom bullet character for all of their items. You can see that this is just an InDesign drawn shape, although it can be a placed graphic, doesn't really matter. But the fundamental problem is that it's not going to output correctly as a list, right? So we, we forget this, you know, um, as a sighted user, you know, when we're reading a document and we see a bunch of bullets or we see numbered items, we kind of instinctively know that it's a list of, of items. But if bullets are not created properly in InDesign, they will not be voiced as a list using assistive technology. And that's, that's kind of a violation of WCAG uh, info and relationships, right? I mean, info and relationships wants you to tag things as what they are, right? So in this case, because I, I just have it as basic text, each one is going to be a paragraph, not really defined as a list. So I want to show you a little trick I like to use. So you can see these are all, you know, individual items here. And if I move these out of the way, this text is just kind of indented, you know, uh, to, to the right. So what I like to do, and, and this is kind of a way around the problem, is I'm going to turn on my bulleted list property for that text. And if I option click on that icon, that'll bring up my bullets and numbering options where I can adjust the, the left indent and the first line indent. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up my bullet a little bit, and then I'm going to pull it back over, essentially hiding the bullet behind that element, right? And so visually, it looks the way the client wants it to look, but structurally, it's now going to be tagged truly as a list, okay? So what I'll do here, I did create a, a unique style here. I'm going to redefine that style. And now you will see that if I move these items out of the way, there is in fact a bullet character there. Um, it's just being hidden under, under that shape. And, and so like if you're using a placed graphic, you would want to artifact those, those graphics that are behaving as the bullet. And now this is going to be output properly as, as a list. The other option you have that I've also utilized, um, I'm using a bullet character style to format those bullets the way they're supposed to look. I could go into that character style and set the character color to none. And that forces the bullet character to disappear. The one covet of that is that in the exported PDF, you will not get a label tag for the bullet because the bullet fundamentally doesn't exist. So an alternative to that, like if you still want the label and the L body, another alternative that I've used in the past is if you go into that style, you could set the character size to like 0.1 points which is essentially unviewable. Like you would never, ever see it. It's so super tiny. And you can see that I can't really see anything here because point one of a point is like so minuscule that you'll never see it. But even that will tag the bullet as a label and, and output properly. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.